That's why people with Tourette syndrome swear, because like, what, what's up with that? How can you have a neurological condition that makes you swear? Well, it turns out that guttural, affect-laden curses are mediated by a different speech circuit, and that's the speech circuit we share with the predator alarms of other primates. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, the, the, the chimp stands there and makes this snake noise, and then all a bunch of other chimps come running, and you know, some of them stay a fair ways from the snake, and some of them get pretty close, but they'll stand there and watch that snake for like 24 hours. You know, so they're fascinated by it. And, you know, if you've handled snakes, you can understand that fascination because they're fascinating, you know, and they're numinous, I, I would say. That, that's the right way of putting it. A numinous is a word that means intrinsically meaningful, like a fire, you know. You can't look away from fire, you know, if you're sitting in front of a fireplace. It's like you're staring at it. And that's because you're all descended from the first mad chimpanzee who had some weird genetic mutation that made it impossible for him to stay away from fire. It was like the first chimp arsonist, you know, and, and he figured it out and, well, hey, now he was a chimp with a stick with fire on it. Like, that's a mega chimp, man. And so, you know, we have that mutation in spades and no wonder.